how powerful is Philippine F-A-50 fighter jets. The Kai T-50 Golden Eagle is a family of South Korean supersonic advanced trainers and light combat aircraft, developed by Korea Aerospace Industries, Kai, with Lockheed Martin. 1. The T-50 is South Korea's first indigenous supersonic aircraft and one of the world's few supersonic trainers. 6. Development began in the late 1990s, and its maiden flight occurred in 2002. The aircraft entered active service with the Republic of Korea Air Force Rokif, in 2005. The T-50 has been further developed into aerobatic and combat variants, namely T-50B, TA-50, and FA-50. The F-50 single-seat multi-role fighter variant was considered. The T-50B serves with the South Korean Air Force's aerobatics team. The TA-50 light attack variant has been ordered by Indonesia. The Philippines ordered 12 units of the FA-50 variant. The T-50A was marketed as a candidate for the United States Air Force's next-generation TX trainer program but failed to win. Thailand ordered 12 units of the T-50 advanced trainer variant. The program has expanded beyond a trainer concept to include the TA-50 light attack aircraft and the FA-50 light combat aircraft. The TA-50 variant is a more heavily armed version of the T-50 trainer, intended for lead-in fighter, training and light attack roles. It is equipped with the Elta ELM-2032 fire control, radar. The TA-50 is designed to operate as a full-fledged combat platform for precision-guided weapons, air-to-air -air missiles, and air-to-ground missiles. The TA-50 can mount additional utility pods for reconnaissance, targeting assistance, and electronic warfare. Reconnaissance and electronic warfare variants are also being developed, designated as RA-50 and EA-50. The FA-50 is the most advanced version of the T-50, possessing more internal fuel capacity, enhanced avionics, a longer redoom and a tactical data link. It is equipped with a modified Israeli ELM-2032 Pulse Doppler radar with Korean-specific modifications by Lignex-1. The engine could be either Eurojet EJ-200 or General Electric F-414, upgraded to 20,000 pounds or 22,000 pounds thrust, roughly 12 to 25 percent higher than the F-404's thrust and are offered to prospective customers for the T-50. The radar of the FA-50 has a range two-thirds greater than the TA-50's radar. The ELM-2032 was initially chosen over Lockheed Martin's preferred ANAPG-67, V, 4 and Celex Vixen 500E, Active Electronically Scanned Array, ESA, radars. Other ESA radars such as Raytheon, Advanced Combat Radar and Northrop Grumman Scalable Agile Beam Radar are options for future production, and may be shared with the radar chosen for USAF and Rokov F-16 fighters. Samsung Thales is also independently developing a domestic multi-mode ESA radar for the FA-50. In December 2008, South Korea awarded a contract to Kai to convert four T-50s to FA-50 standard by 2012. In 2012, the Rokov ordered 20 FA-50 fighters to be delivered by the end of 2014. The maiden flight of the FA-50 took place in 2011.60 FA-50. Aircraft are to be produced for the Rokov from 2013 to 2016. Kai received a 1.1 trillion, 1, 1 billion dollars, order for FA-50 fighter aircraft in May 2013. In December 2015, Kai announced and revealed the new Kai LMT-50 TX upgrade intended to compete in the US TX program that will start testing in 2016. This variant features a dorsal hump for extra internal fuel and an aerial refueling receptacle, large area display, LAD, and embedded ground training systems. In October at X 2017, Kai unveiled the T-50A as a new variant, based on the F-A-50 multi-role combat aircraft, including fifth-generation cockpit, and aerial refueling receptacle, cockpit multifunction display, dorsal hump for extra, internal fuel, and an embedded training suite. In January 2019, Kai has begun development, on an improved F-A-50 known as Block 10 and Block 20 upgrades, 
Block 10 is a software upgrade so it can use the Lockheed Martin AN-33 sniper targeting pod, while the Block 20 is improvement capability to conduct beyond visual range air-to-air -air missions, carrying munitions such as the AIM-120 IMRAM. If you are new to my channel please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to notify you if I have a new videos. God bless, Philippines.